All right, so once you put something on the internet, you know, it's there forever. Today, another professional athlete has learned that lesson the hard way. This time, it was a Nationals player. Old tweets from Washington Nationals shortstop Trey Turner include a gay slur, anti-gay comments, and a joke with racist undertones. The tweets date from 2011 to 2012, when Turner was 18 years old. He's now 25. Turner apologized, saying that it doesn't reflect who he is. Now, in a matter of less than two weeks, we've seen the same situation happen to the Braves' Sean Newcomb, the Brewers' Josh Hader, and now Turner. In fact, just last week, sports director Darren Haynes weighed in on how these situations should be handled. All right, here's what's on my mind tonight, people. What's the punishment for someone who makes a racial comment in the past, but we don't find out about until now? Well, Ravens reporter Lindsay O.K., her old tweets were exposed yesterday. In 2010, she tweeted that the NFL stands for N-word for life. Haven't heard of any punishment yet. Now remember Panthers reporter Jordan Rodriguez, her old tweets using the N-word surfaced last football season. She just got a slap on the wrist and they moved on. Milwaukee Brewers pitcher Josh Hader, he posted everything from white power to KKK. I even counted the N-word three times. He apologized, however, no punishment. As a matter of fact, when Hader took the mound for the first time since his racist tweets surfaced, he got a standing ovation. Seems backwards, right? Well, maybe the punishment should be a three year suspension like the Wrestling Hall of Fame did with Hulk Hogan after his racial comments. For some people, that's not even enough. Imagine if a former Clippers owner like Donald Sterling was able to own another NBA team after his racist comments from 2015. Trust me, nobody would still want to play for him. I was 10 years old the first time I was called the N-word and it brings out a hurt and anger I can't even describe. There's a reason why the Webster Dictionary calls the N-word the most offensive word in the English language. So think about this. If someone robbed a bank in 28, 20, 2008 and we find out who did it now, wouldn't that person receive the same punishment as if they robbed the bank today? Think about the next time old racist tweets surface. That's what's on my mind. So do you agree with Darren there? Tweet to me at Adam Longo TV and use the hashtag offscriptonline and let us know what you think. We'll share some of these tweets at the end of the show.